don't change anything. For now, just run. <laughs> run with all the breath you have. <laughs> Noah, over here. We can go through here, and then we're out. All right. Oh, no! Sparks! We almost made it. I'm sorry. Huh? If I'd been just a bit faster, I could have saved many more lives. Uh, who are? I'm Ethel, from Colony 4. Silvercoat Ethel? She pushed her colony all the way to rank silver, and in her third term at that. Some do call me that. However, a person's worth isn't in their color. It's here. Nice blade you've got. This passage of fate. We got ourselves a nice little awakening. You were all talk when you left here, but you've nothing to show for it, D. Oh, spare me, P. After all, I did precisely what I was meant to do. So? About that huge bet of yours? Pray tell us who won. Pah! A draw, I think. There were two whole colonies on the field. We should have sallied forth in the first place. The whole thing would have been done by tea time. Duh. It was Jay who insisted on it. I thought that that had already been communicated. In that case, I believe it's my turn next. H, I'm pretty sure you already had your kicks the other day when you wiped out Colony 8, no? Surely the turn is mine. Honestly, you make more noise than the rabble at a feast. That. Even if you did stop its raging flow, it will soon burst through. All it takes is the slightest fissure. And that is fate. I've told you before, haven't I? D. Bah. The gang's all here again. Okay. Will you go? If you say I go, I go. Well then, let us see how far the flow brings them this time. No, no, no! More to the right! Right there! 
Start lowering. Make sure it's airtight. Stand around here, finer than Ruska flower. I could do a triple weld. Sure. Long as the output's stable. Yes, sir. What's up with the K-rounds? We're two caches short. Hope you didn't snuff up the order. I don't know, okay? Got a problem, take it up with logistics. We're just a dirt rank colony. Low as they come. You think the castle gives a crap? A Queen's Oath, this pisses me off. We get better scores than any sparking colony out there. Did you know? For ten rank field rations, I hear they get Arden meat. Really? And us mudders? Trust me, you really don't want to know. <sighs> I miss the good old silver days. Didn't have to rely on rations back then. We had cooks come and serve us right on the front line. Used to get Armu sirloin, we did. Seriously? Oh. Hey! What now? My own indiscretion has caused you difficulties. I'm sorry. No! Uh, we would never... Our apologies, uh, Commander Ethel. That was all, uh, just banter. Believe me, we had n no intention of... You enjoyed eating our mistake, did you? Uh... Yes, I did. Tastiest food I ever ate. I liked it as well. And I hope we will have it again. So lend me your strength. Mom! Yes, Mom! I don't see what's wrong with Wolf, personally. <laughs> That's because you have poor taste. I'm jealous. Oh, well. Trade you my taste buds? No, thank you. My mouth had turned as foul as yours. <laughs> True that. They cleared out real fast. I hear the attending consul is a particularly punctual sort of character. Please, not another stickler for the rules. Can't be long now. Yep. Got about five minutes to go. Whoa! Well, well, Consul dear. Your reputation certainly precedes you. insufferably dusty around here. Clearly, the place befits its dirt rank status. The rainy season will soon be upon us. I ask your patience for just this short while. Is that so? Then, leaving aside the issue of cleanliness, just what is with all this fog? I don't take kindly to my vision being obfuscated. Go oh, forget it. So, where are my quarters? Yes, this way. <sighs> what a filthy room! How the dirt rack has fallen. 
I suppose that would be something to take up with the castle. Afferonis is an old model. I understand your displeasure. But please don't escalate this. Do I detect some defiance? No, no, that, that was never my... Relax, girl, I jest. Now then, let's cut the chit-chat and talk business. I'd like you to eradicate some vermin for me. Vermin? By your leave, sir, we've detected no movement from Agni and Pharonesis around this area. Not Agnes. People. Soldiers. A band of deserters from both sides. Well, something like that. Agnes and Kevis. Both. <laughs> I think it's best you see for yourself. Hmm. This is expressly at the Queen's behest. Don't foul this up. Hey, can I ask you something? Hmm? It's special, isn't it? Your blade, I mean. Um... Sometimes one part of it glows. Why is that? Oh. You can tell. That's amazing. It's hard not to. Oh, right. Is it a secret? No. I can tell you. Noah, my man! Are you still playing around with that little toy? Have you considered a knock-on weapon? You might actually get somewhere with that. Oi! You deaf or what, Noah? Garvel? Noah, this is bad. <laughs> Not even a peep. Don't need to pay us any attention. Oh, please. I wasn't ignoring you. Once I finish this set, we can chat! Huh? <sighs> well, what were you saying? Noah! For dead weight, you're a right snuffing peacock! You... you slippery little mud! 
Harder! Well, anything else? You... Snuffin' weakling! Blast it all! Oh, you... Get it now! Lance! Break it up now. Didn't know you'd be so petty, Garvel. <laughs> Ain't got no time for this, musclehead. Wanna say that again? Hm. We'll settle this properly in tomorrow's trial. Move it! <laughs> Noah, are you okay? Don't let it get to you. Guys like that are the first ones to snuff it in a real battle. No, I'm not worried about him. I really can't call my weapon, though. I worry I'll end up being a burden. Never thought that here, not even once. Thanks. Kind of you to say. It's just the truth. Where are you going? To visit Riku, since it broke. The trial, it's tomorrow. I'm gonna need a new weapon for that. What's this? Magic sword, Lucky Seven. In distant past were seven legendary swordsmith pawn. Over course of seven years, forged sword from seven types of steel. No other sword like it in existing. Magic? Lucky Seven? Lance, please to give good cleave with blade and split clean in halves. Sure about that. Better not pull some you break it, you bought it. Sneaky sort of deal. Riku would never dream. Just put all of heft into mighty swing. Weird ask. Uh, sure. You want me to cut it? I'll cut it, I guess. Here it comes! Queen's beans! There's not even a nick in it! Friends surprised? Indeed, it's most prized of swords. Even armor of Ferronis gets sliced to itsy bits. I think... I'll pass. Pass? So you not have need for? Yeah, it's too strong. Hmm... Noah want Lance and friends to kick buckets? No, what the spark! Same as letting friends die. No, it's not. If friends not fight, cannot survive. Sure, but I don't need to use your sword. Then, why Noah not call Blade? It's not our choice, I just can't. False. Riku see through like transparent. <sighs> Noah can call Blade. Just no big desire of fighting spirit. Riku? Hey, is he serious? <sighs> Noah? What the? All this time? Huh? <sighs> if death is not option, should live. Only way is fight like life depends. Thinking of self alone is way of coward. Though, Riku no feeling well. I'm afraid. Of fighting, you mean? Of this world. It's so brutal and relentless. And I'm afraid of what we might... become. Mate! Oh ho ho! Riku knew Noah was hero material. Huh? It true this sword possess incredible power. Might even rob enemies of many much lives, yes. But only those who understand nature of terror have right to wield. Eh, quoth Master Pon of Riku, anyhaps. <sighs> so, if Noah can call Blade now, can still keep Lucky Seven, maybe in some kind of disguise. In different words, can turn it into sheath. Sheath? 
can use it in fights like normal. But if ever push come to shove, time will come when Noah truly need Lucky Seven's strength. Then is only matter of drawing. When I truly need its strength. Exact. If Noah never lose sight of that feeling, one day such time surely come. That is, if I can master it. If felt a master, just give back. Can pick out different one. Ah, right. Please not to feel specially indebted to Riku. Just take. No need for overthinkings. <laughs> okay. I accept your offer. Oh, and Riku? What is? Mind if I change the name? Me? Lucky Seven just isn't doing it for me. So, what name did you end up picking? Huh? Um, name. Uh-huh. You don't want to say? Or what? Is it that embarrassing? N no it's not embarrassing. That's not it. <laughs> I'm getting strong emotional vibes here. I wouldn't say emotional, per se. Rather... Something I miss. Yeah. <sighs> you know, you're the second one that's noticed this weapon. Really? Is that something special? It is. And the first? Who was it? She's incredible. And we owe her our lives. This will be sketchy. Yeah, agreed. What friends are afraid of, hmm? I'm seeing signs of patrols. Was it Colony 4? Colony 4? Colony of Bad Butt Elites, led by a commander of great repute. Whole rest of Kevis acknowledge their superiority. Are you certain? This is Neil Valley. Right. Like Riku said. But how can this be? How can their zone of control extend this far out? Huh? Anyone feel that? Huh. <gasps> A quake? Hmm. No, it's... Over there! Monsters. Noah, look. That's Ethel. You said Ethel. You mean Silver Code Ethel? You know about her. Even in Agnes, the name has spread far and wide. Silver Code Ethel, a veteran soldier unmatched in strength. People would whisper, 
about how she fell three colonies at once with just a hundred troops. Yeah, but this is Ethel. We know her name, so? So, she helped us out once before. She was strong, but kind. She could still help. Noah? It might not work, but... Noah! It's all right. Ethel! It's me! Noah from Colony 9! You know us! You saved us back in Colony 14! You praised my blade! You must remember! You say I helped you! In Colony 14! You did? Really? I've no recollection of helping. You! <laughs> All right. It's pointless. Sorry. I thought I could convince her. Should have known it wouldn't work. Taking cover. Bad move. Very well done, Ethel. I do so love your loyalty. Now, the enemy is before you. Chase them to the ends of the world. Not a single one of them can escape. Yep, just keep them coming. No problem. Look out! Risky business. Doesn't help that their cannons are way too accurate. They shouldn't be able to see us from over there. How they know location of Manana and friends? The iris. There? Her red iris is doing this. It's relaying our exact position to her troops. Snuff this! Lads, six o'clock! Spark! Again! The soldiers! Their whole squad! Those heartless mudders! Guys, pull back to the cave. What cave? We're sitting bunnets out here. In there we can take cover from the volleys. And after that? Think about that later. No plan B! I didn't have time. You can't run from me, brat. I've got my eye on you. Black fog? Really? Suddenly fog? <laughs> ah, no big deal. It'll hardly slow me down. I still have eyes on the prize. Hmm. Hey, Tyre! Have you been here? No. Then what? The enemy's acting strangely. Something's off. Off how? Even when we engage, the other soldiers don't provide backup. It's like none of them have been given orders. You're overthinking it. I thought I was at first. Hey, Noah. Yeah. I agree with Tyon. They did seem kind of slow to respond. Oh no.
we can get down from the left side. With any luck, we can lead them the wrong way. Huh? Huh. She read us like a book. Ethel, do you really not recognize us at all? Disgusting. Huh? The sight of you things speaking the words of man. It makes my skin crawl. Huh? We'll never get through. Come off it. Just what the spark does she see us as? Goggles? She's right there. Why don't you ask her? Right, we'll get a straight answer. No way to Prepare yourself! She's not giving us much choice. Are you on your
Right there! Don't get my way! 